Do you want to make cool map art in survival Minecraft? Or have you made map art before and it seemed like a lot of work? Well, then you need to watch this video because here are a few really cool tricks that can help you make map art faster and easier in survival Minecraft. Hi there, I'm Dippy Blether and I've just become the resident map maker on the Nomad Craft SMP. I have a few orders already, so now I need to figure out how to make lots of maps fast. And that's why I'm here in my test world. If you've never used maps before, let's start with some basics. And if you have, just fast forward a few seconds. Maps are not complicated. All you need is a compass and some paper. So let's make one now. Okie doke. Right. So you take this map and you hold it in your hand like this and you right click and like magic, it shows you what the area looks like. Okay. In this case, there's not much to see. Is there just a few cacti and oh yeah, a weird little lava lake in the corner. Brilliant. Now you see this little arrow here that shows you where you are and also which way you're facing and all maps have north at the top that's really useful to know especially when you're using a treasure map mm -hmm. so each map covers a specific area it's exactly 128 by 128 blocks and if you want to make a custom map hold the map in your hand and then figure out where the edges are because that is your drawing board if you press f3 and g that's a cool hack yeah if you press f3 and g you can find the chunk borders easily you see those lines here so i'm putting some markers in the corners here i'm checking on my map yep that's the right place so yeah you can see this is a a huge area and I like to start my map with a white base this is wool so now you have your canvas just place stuff on the map and hey presto you get an image I've used colored concrete here but to be honest solid blocks are not the best if you make a mistake or you want to create another image you need to remove them and let's face it you could be here a while right so that's why I use carpets carpets come in 16 colors which is enough for most graphic images they can be easily placed and they are instant break and that is really useful because if you're doodling freestyle like I am you can just you know change anything check your map in your hand and if you don't like it just change it of course sometimes you want to plan a more detailed image um, and there are many free graphics programs that convert images into pixel art but that's another tutorial let's get the technical stuff done first okay so i need more than one map but i don't want to build a new arena for every image i mean that would be insane right i want a map area that i can use over and over again can you imagine how long it would take to remove all the carpet from an entire arena? No, I want to find a way to clean up quickly. Um, okay, water is a good start. Water washes away carpets. But washing the entire floor by hand? Uh, nah, I don't want to run around with a bucket for ages like a complete idiot. There must be a better way. Okay, so I've been thinking maybe dispensers would work. The water pops out and then it gets sucked up again. Uh, but I still have to pick up the carpet by hand. Mm. And we need tons of dispensers. Oh god, can you imagine the amount of redstone you'd need? No, this is not the way. So, if we build a terrace arena and then dispense the water at the top, it should theoretically wash all the carpets right down to the bottom. Okay, question. Do the steps show up on the map? Mm. So, this is the north-south direction. Ah, we get shadows. That's, that's not good. So let's try the other way. Oh, oh, okay. No shadows. Okay, that looks good. Let's try it with carpet on top and still nothing. <laughs> this could actually work. So let's try this in a test arena. We have a water stream at the bottom to collect everything. Edge Terrace is seven blocks deep. And here at the top, we have waterlogged trapdoors. So if I flick this lever here, yes, this is working. Okay, I'm really excited. This is nice and clean again. And we need to think about how we can scale this up. So uh, Map Arena is 128 blocks wide, but this redstone signal here only reaches 15 trapdoors. Hmm, okay, I'm not exactly a mango, but this extension here should work. The signal splits here at block 13. The next two trapdoors get triggered from the top and this repeater here extends the signal. Okay. Oh, yes, that works. Mm -hmm. So we can tile this to infinity. Now we need to come up with a solution for the collection system 
Right, I think I've got something. Yeah, water flows for eight blocks. So I've put an open gate above the last block and down here in the ninth space, can you see there's ice underneath and a sign? And then I'm popping a new source block of water on top of the sign and two gates at the top here. Let's try it. Okay. Haha, <laughs> success! I'm ready to build this for real on the Nomad Craft server. Okay, come with me. I'm ready to build this map arena. So, 128 blocks in that direction. And in that direction, in a square, should give me a map arena. There we go. Ooh, that's massive. I mean, look at that. That's enormous. Okay, let's test the flushing system. Oh, wow. Oh my god, that looks amazing. And that really works. This is so cool. I can start building now. So I have the pixel art for this image on my mobile. Now all I have to do is copy that picture carpet by carpet. Time lapse. Oh, I love it. <laughs> okay, this is great. Now, I have no idea why Bella wants a Goss Disney castle, but he's building something big this season, and I'm a bit curious. Check out Nomad Craft Season 3. You've got to see this. I know you want to see the arena cleaned, but there's something we have to do first, and it's really, really important. We need to lock this artwork. Just pop it onto a cartography table and combine it with a pane of glass, and now it is safe forever. And if you want to make copies, just pop an empty map in the bottom slot and duplicate. It's really easy. Okay, and now what we've all been waiting for, the Royal Flush. Are you ready for this? I'm going to press the button. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at that! I can't believe it! The entire... the entire arena has been cleaned! Oh my god! And all my precious carpets have been rescued as well! Oh my god! <laughs> Look, I'm back and I've nearly finished my next map! This is amazing! I'm just loving this! <laughs> well, that's it. I have made a magic, self-cleaning, all singing and dancing map-making arena. I am so happy. I hope this has inspired you to make some custom maps of your own. If you like this video, like it. And if you want to know why I need all these crazy maps, well, check out the video below. There's a whole long story to this. Happy map-making and bye-bye!